Hello and welcome to this video series How to Produce Your First Website with Blue Griffin presented by Easier Internet Marketing. Right, well, here we are in video number 10 in the series creating your first website and this is part 2. There's lots to do so let's dive straight in. Okay, so here we are in Blue Griffin again, we left off last time. Now let's put um, a banner heading here, shall we? Let's go in here and let's put our banner heading in there. So don't forget, everything should be in the same folder. All your images in the same folder as your index, everything. Okay, and allow that. That's good to me, so let's put that in there. Let's just make this a bit bigger so it's fill in the box completely. I'm going quite quick today so make sure that you pause it if need be so you can, um, make sure everything gets done. Right, now what we're going to do now is we're going to create um, a couple of new pages. So let's um, page a new tab. Now let's say this one as, let's call it our contact page. Okay, and let's, okay thank you very much. Let's insert the second one now as well, page a new tab and let's call this one um, the about page so we get some details about us. Let's call this about. Okay and here again it's in the same file first website copy about save it and there we are. Okay let's go back to index. Now what I want to do now I want to select this table here. So this one here right click and table select table. Now I want to copy this edit copy let's go into the contact page and I'm going to actually paste it on this page here let's paste it so we've got that one there and let's do the about the so same thing about show as well let's go about again paste the same thing there right now let's add um, another table in the about page insert table very very simple one properties I'm going to make it about 75% of the width, so 75. Apply that and make sure we've got the right color. So background color for this one, I'm going to put in um, white. Okay, apply and make sure that the text is also pretty centered. Apply, okay, and let's put the central as well. So that is going to be the about. So let's put in there a little heading. Um, about. Let's make it a bit bigger, so I highlight that and let's go up to Cascade Style Sheet. Let's drag it across, have it over here. Then we want to make it a bit bigger, so we're going to go here to size, going to make it extra large. Extra large. Let's call it A1. Okay, that's more like it, that's better. Okay, let's just Take it down a second. What we'll do here, we will go up to edit and now we're going to select all. And now we're going to add some background colour. So here again, we're going to go to cascade sheet and we're going to find some background colour here to put in here. So colour background. And here we're going to put in the colour we used last time. Remember this one? So it is 51. It is 102 and it was 153. Okay, that looks good. So, of course, a 2. Okay, there we go. Exactly how I want it. Right, let's change the color of this as well. Shall we change the color of the about? Let's have this um, foreground. Let's have it as a blue. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. That looks really, really good. Okay, let's do a similar sort of thing on the um, contact page now. Again, insert a table. So let's table, insert table, single cell. Okay, right click properties. And we're going to go with 75%. 75%. And apply that one, let's go to the cell, again background colour is going to be on this one, it'll be white, okay and we're going to make sure that it's centred, apply, okay, let's put that there, that's excellent, edit, select all, 
Now let's go and put a bit of background this one as well. Background and let's put in that code again, shall we? So it was 51 and it is 102 and lastly 153. Okay, let's call it A3. That looks really good to me. And we're going to call this one this our contact page. So let's um, contact. Let's make the text a bit bigger, shall we? Size again, let's have it extra large. A4. Okay, and again, let's change the color of this. It's a darker blue, shall we? a nice darker blue foreground dark blue yep yeah, that's nice okay that looks good to me so what we've got now we've got a contact page we've got an about page and we've got the index page as well okay let's just um, add the details to the, the contact page this is nice and simple um, let's go um, email come on support at wait training schedules dot com that looks pretty good to me and down here let's just have a um, can we do this that's a little home down here as well it takes about home when we need it okay right something about now what I've got here actually um, produce a bit of text if I put up notepad and now a little bit of um, text about me that I prepared beforehand let's get this here right click copy there we go so there we've got some stuff there about me and again let's put in a, a home link I'll show you about this in a second there's home there okay that's great so now we've got our contact page we've got the about page let's go to the index now let's finish this off now on this side here remember um, we wanted to ha have um, about we wanted to have um, contact I wanted to have terms and conditions I'm not actually doing a terms and conditions page in this run through it just takes too much time but to keep it simple so let's just highlight those let's make them a bit bigger size extra large I think thank you extra large extra large a5 okay there we go and let's also change the color of these color foreground again the blue is nice that looks pretty good to me okay now over here we have the um, chapter headings just want to bring these up a bit so table properties we'll change the cell so it is in fact center and I want it from the top apply background color was white this wasn't it white there okay apply okay so here you're going to put in the different chapters of the book so this will be introduction then we're going to have um, principles of weight training then we're going to have physical types and lastly we're going to have how the muscles work. Now I'm not going to link all these today how the muscles work but you'll see how I do link them in a moment so let's just make these big as well and a bit of colour perhaps cascade foreground okay let's go up here to size extra large okay how's that looking looks pretty good to me that's really, really good and the middle here I'm gonna have a little bit of text let's see what I've got on the notepad see what the notepad says right let's take this bit out here it's just a little bit of introduction to what uh, the whole site's about let's put this table properties at the top one is at the top so cells top apply okay change the color back again the white does that but it's annoying okay background color white okay apply 
Okay, now I'm going to paste this in now, what I've just written. So let's bring up the top, shall we? It's not going to let me do that. Let's go back into properties. Cells. Look at the top. Apply. Background color. White. OK. Apply. OK. That's better. That's more like it. Now let's see if we can just centralize a little bit. Can we centralize a bit of it? We can. Good. And let's now make all of it a bit bigger. Cascade sheet up there. Let's go to size. Let's go. Mm -mm, which we have very large. Seven. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then also let's add a bit of colour to it as well. So foreground, that colour, perfect. Right, so look, how does that look? Alright, okay. Looking good so far. What we're going to do now is make these bullet points. Go up here, add bullet points. Now that is looking good. Okay, that's looking pretty good now. Contact about right let's add the links now we highlight about uh, we go up to links now let's see the target is going to be the about page which is there okay contact let's try the contact shall we it's going to be to again a link to the contact page that one there OK, so we've got those two linked up. Now we're going to add another one over here, introduction. Let's link this one to the first page, which is a that one there. OK, OK, and principles of weight training. OK, link it to principles and that one there. OK, right, almost there. Last little bit now, contact page. Let's go to home. Now highlight this, and I want the link for this one back to the index page. So index. Okay. Similarly, the about. Come on down. I want to highlight this bit. Put a link in. Back to the index. Okay. Now everything should now be virtually ready. Let's just save. What we've done here, see that one, contact, let's save that one, and index, let's save that one as well. And anything we haven't done now, which I think I'll do here while we're at it, is putting an image at this point. So let's um, put our image in, let's have a little look so we can find it. That one there, open, okay, oh, a bit big, let's make it a bit smaller, shall we? Okay. That looks fine to me. OK, right, happy with that. Now let's save that. So we've got about, contact, introduction, principles, the Shulner link. Let's now look at this in the browser. There we go. Let's see if these links work. OK, about, it should go to about. Home should go back. Contact, home, introduction. That's the first one there, which is good. And principal weight training, that's that on there. Okay, so there we have it. We have now built our Blue Griffin website. Thanks for watching this video produced by Easier Internet Marketing. I'll be back with you again very soon. Bye bye for now.